Hi there folks, now we have a basic level made within the Unreal Engine for our 2D game. What we might choose to do is start building our actual character. So to do this, we're going to first of all create a folder and we'll call this character. And we'll also create a new folder and we'll just call this game mode as well. Because we might as well get the game mode out of the way as well. So within the contents folder for the game mode, just right click, add a blueprint class then a game mode blueprint class and let's call this RPG game mode just like so then go to the world settings of course you can find that under settings and world settings like so and let's just set this to RPG game mode now what we need to do is build our default player class we can do that by going to content go to character we'll then go to blueprint class and we'll go to character just like so and then we'll call this main player and launch it in just like this. Now, if we go to default player class and just click on this one, we need to set this to main player. And there we go. Now, if we go to play the actual game itself, our character will be set to the main player, but of course we have the massive issue that there's no player movement controls and actually we're spawning ooh, behind the actual object, right? If you ever lose an object, if you double click on it within the game mode, you'll find it and in fact what's happening is our player if we just spin them around like so to face the lovely level when we play we actually fall from the sky because at this moment in time we still have gravity enabled on our character now what we'll do is we are going to fix that <laughs> which might be a good idea so the first thing we'll do is we'll build a few player input controllers doing this by going to settings then going to project settings then scrolling all the way down to input and then we need access mapping and we'll create two of these the first one will be for up and down movement we'll just call that up and down and we'll default bind these to the w key for up so the plus number and s for down there's s and we'll just set that to negative one and then we'll just do this for right and left get rid of that capsule on the end there Ooh. and again we'll set this to D to go right in this scenario we'll have D scaling positively and we'll then set A to go left and then we'll set that to a negative one just like so now on our character what we'll do is we need to click on character movement inherit just like so and we're going to set this first of all to flying because why not basically what we need to do is disable some form of gravity we could muck around with actually getting rid of the gravity settings at the moment in time but flying for basic tv movement is perfectly fine and an easy way around it and what we're, what we're going to do is just quickly set the max flying speed to something like 100 then braking deceleration to 200 you may want to tweak those variables in a little bit then we're going to add some basic code to our character so first we'll click on the event graph then we're going to type up and down get that lovely axis value and then right and left and again call the event for this one then we're going to add basic movement which is add movement inputs like so and add movement input on this one just like so and then we're going to connect the scale values for both of these now at this moment in time if I go to actually launch our game and press play there's our character but he's not actually moving because even though we have a scale for when we're pressing these buttons we're not actually telling it which direction to go in so what we'll do for up and down we'll set it to Z and for left and right we'll set it to X and then go to compile and then go to play and then all of a sudden if we move S it goes down W it goes up A it goes left right it goes D or D it goes right as the case is now what you'll notice is we have a very interesting effect with our lovely terrain which we need to sort and we'll do that in the next video by adding some form of orthographic camera instead.